Welcome primary five with you is Ms. Noor Abdurrahman and today we are going to start lesson number three on concept number one on unit one. So are you ready to start? Let's go. The last time we talked about the earth systems and we said that the scientists named the earth for the earth systems by sphere. Why they can be called sphere? Because the earth has the shape of sphere and sphere means ball. So the earth systems can be called sphere. And we talked about the fourth system, which is geosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, and, and atmosphere. Geosphere, that is the system that includes the earth crust and the layers under the earth crust. Now today, let's talk about the layers of the earth. The earth consists of four layers. The first layer, which we love in, right here, which is the earth's surface, it's called earth crust. All of us, we are living on the earth crust right here. This is the earth crust. This is called earth crust. So this is the first layer. Under the earth, earth crust, we have this orange layer which contains molten rocks. This layer it's called mantle. Again, it's called what? Mantle. Mantle. And the mantle contains the molten rocks. After that, we have the core of the earth. The core consists of two parts, which is outer core and inner core outer core and inner core so now we have four layers which is crust mantle outer core inner core again crust mantle outer core inner core crust mantle outer core inner core In this picture also we can see the layers of the earth from outside it's the crust after that we have the mantle after that we have the core which is consist of outer core and the last one it is the inner core in geosphere, the word geo means earth. Geo means earth. To ask you, the word geo means earth. Okay. In the geosphere, the geosphere it includes or consists of rocks, minerals, soil, landforms, and molten rocks. The first one is rocks. Uh, on the earth's surface, we have the solid rocks. Under the earth's surface, we have the minerals. The minerals, like metals and minerals. Uh, also, the soil, it's a part of geosphere. The land forms are a part of geosphere like mountains. The mountains are part of geosphere because it's from ground. Valleys, also valleys from ground, so it's a part of geosphere. The molten rocks under the earth, sur earth crust or the earth surface also, it's from geosphere. Now, number two, let's talk about hydrosphere. The hydrosphere, it is the system that includes all the forms of water on, under, and above the earth. All forms of water. What's the meaning of word hydro? If you can remember, it means water. Hydro means water. So, geo means earth, and hydro means water. The hydrosphere contains not only a liquid water, it contains also solid and gaseous water. Okay, how many water, how many water on the Earth's surface? The, or, the Earth's surface contains 70% of water and only 30% land. 70% of the Earth is only water. Okay, now let's take this water and see how many from water in the Earth is salt and how many is fresh. The salt water on the Earth can be found on 97%. But the fresh water can be found on 3% only. So, most of water is salt water in a percent which is 97. 97% of the earth is, 97% uh, of water on the earth is salt water. And we can find it on oceans, seas, gulfs, and some lakes. So, the salt water can be found in oceans, seas, gulfs, and some lakes. Number two, the fresh water, which is the 3%, can be found on river, rainwater, groundwater, and most of lakes. So, most of lakes, fresh water, and some lakes, salt water. So, again, the salt water, 97, can be found in ocean, sea, gulf, and some lakes. Uh, but the fresh water is 3% and can be found in river, rainwater, groundwater, and most of lakes. Most of this fresh water, which is the 3% of water, it's not only liquid, but we can find it in a frozen water. So most of fresh water, it's not liquid, it's a frozen water. And we can find it on uh, many shapes and 
uh, we can see it like a large piece of ice or a large piece of snow which is called glaciers it's called what glaciers as you can see in this picture in this picture we can see the glaciers which is a large piece of ice or snow which is moving slowly above the earth's surface this is called glaciers and we will talk about it now let's talk about the groundwater which is only which is also a form of fresh water the groundwater can be found under the earth crust or under the earth's surface okay under the earth's surface we can find the groundwater in a layer this layer called aquifer as you can see in this picture there is a layer under the Earth's surface called uh, contain the groundwater. This layer is called what? Aquifer. Aquifer. So aquifer, it's a layer under the Earth's surface contain fresh water. Again, so the layer under the Earth's surface that contain a fresh water, it's called aquifer. Okay. The groundwater, which is coming from aquifer, can supplies the wells and springs with water. So the wells and springs can taking the water from groundwater. Again, the wells and springs are supplied with water from what? From the groundwater, which is lies in aquifer. So, in the hydrosphere system, there is oceans, seas, rivers, groundwater, glaciers, and cryosphere. What is the glaciers and cryosphere? Let's know together. At first, the cryosphere, it is the frozen water on the Earth's surface. We said that the water is not only liquid, there is also a frozen water on the Earth's surface. The frozen water on the Earth's surface, it's called cryosphere. So, the hydrosphere consists of a part called cryosphere. This cryosphere contains the frozen water on the Earth's surface. Again, so the frozen water on the Earth's surface is called cryosphere. Called what? Cryosphere. And from cryosphere, we have glaciers. What is the glaciers? The glacier, it's a large sheet of ice or snow, which is moving slowly over the Earth's surface. So as you can see in this picture, it's a large piece or a large sheet of ice or snow. And it's moving slowly over the Earth's surface. It's called what again? Glaciers. Glaciers. And the glaciers, it's a part of cryosphere. Now, let's talk about the atmosphere. In the atmosphere system, we have a mixture of gases surrounding the Earth. Can you remember what is these gases? Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. Okay, what is the meaning of word atmo? Atmo means vapor. Atmo means vapor. Atmo means vapor. And the atmosphere layer usually called air. We can say the atmosphere, air. So atmosphere is named by air. But what about the word atmo? Atmo means vapor. So now we have three words. Geo, hydro, and atmo. Geo means earth. Hydro means water. And atmo means vapor. Now let's talk about the biosphere. In this, in this system, we have all living organisms on the earth's surface what is these living organisms we have humans animals plants and micro organisms all of these are called biosphere and the biosphere is any part of the earth contain life any part of the earth contain life and have like uh, and have living organisms it can be a part of biosphere the biosphere consists of many places called biome called what biome what is the biome? The biome is a large region of the world that has similar soil, similar climate, similar plants, similar animals. What's the meaning of that? Like desert. If we go to the desert, the desert is a large region. What's the meaning of region? Region means place. It's a large place. It has similar soil. Yes, all of the soil of the desert is the same. It has similar climate. Climate means weather. Yes, it has the same climate. It has similar plants, yes, it has the same plants, and also it has the same animals. Oh, so we can say that the desert is a biome. So a biome, it's a place contain living organisms, and it's a large place, has similar soils, similar climates, similar plants, similar animals. So any place like that, it's called biome.
So again, what's the meaning of biome? Large region contains similar soil, similar climate, similar plants, similar animals. Like what? We can found that the biome like desert. The desert have similar uh, soil, similar climate, similar plants, similar animals. The forest also. The grassland also have similar soil, similar climates, similar plants and animals. The wetland also are similar in everything. The rainforest similar in everything. So desert, forest, grassland, wetland, rainforest, any place has same weather, same plants, same animals, same soil. It will called biome. Now, let's talk about the earth system interactions. We said that the systems of the earth can interact together. Let's start with hydrosphere interacts with geosphere. Like in what? Like in erosion of rocks by water. The erosion of rocks by water, it's geo and hydro. Why? Because the rocks is from geosphere and the water from hydrosphere. So this is interaction between hydrosphere and geosphere. Number two, formation of lakes. Do you remember what is the lakes? It's a water body which is surrounded by land. So the water coming from hydrosphere and the land, geosphere. So also the lakes, it's interaction between hydrosphere and geosphere. Number two, we have atmosphere. The photosynthesis process the plant take carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen gas. So this is interaction between what? Atmosphere because of the gases, carbon dioxide and oxygen, and biosphere because of the plants, which is uh, interaction between atmosphere and biosphere. Number three, in the photosynthesis process, the soil provides the nutrients for plant roots. The roots absorb nutrients from the soil. When the roots absorb nutrients from the soil, this is interaction between geosphere because of soil and biosphere because of the plants. So the earth systems can interact together. The last thing today, we have the examples of hydrosphere and biosphere interactions. The hydrosphere all the time interact with biosphere, like when the plant needs water, when the animals drink water, when the humans drink water, and also when some animals and plants live in water. This is, will be the end. With you was Ms. Noura Abdurrahman, and thank you for listening.